It's not the first time a lorry and a railway bridge have come into close contact, but every time it happens, the knock-on effects are huge. This tunnel runs under a bridge which links everywhere west of Plymouth with the rest of the country. So August bank holiday weekend was less than ideal timing. There were chaotic scenes outside stations yesterday as people queued for cancelled trains and then scrambled for replacement bus services. Yeah, we got off at Exeter and then we told there was a coach to Plymouth and that's it. And we're from yeah. Truro. So um, yeah, we've had to last minute get a Premier in. Um, they said it's going to be paid for, but we obviously weren't sure about that. Yeah. And it's basically been it, isn't it? So we're yeah. now hoping there's a train. <laughs> we got basically left in the lurch at Exeter St David's station yesterday. Finally got here about four hours, 20 minutes late. Two coaches turned up, they, they, they went, they, they were full. No more buses are coming today. There's no, there's no taxis provided, there's no other transport. You've got to make your own way to wherever you're going. And it's absolutely shocking, you know what I mean? There was about maybe eight or ten people who didn't get on that bus and they had to wait for the next, next bus because yeah, yeah. the bus was... Um, yeah. Well, they couldn't they, take all these passengers, they, eh? They blamed on, they couldn't get the place, real replacement because it's a bank holiday. Great Western Railway has apologised for the slow response. When we have an incident like this happen, we do have plans in place in terms of what needs to happen. And one of the first things we do is look at procuring some rail replacement transport. Uh, that was very slow coming through yesterday. We are very sorry for that. We tried to get as many buses in as possible, but it just wasn't possible. Bank holiday is obviously uh, is a, a big time for holidays and things like that. And it, wa it was, just wasn't uh, uh, possible for us to get as many buses in as we would have liked. Tesco have also apologised for the disruption and say they are investigating how the lorry came to be stuck. Some trains are now able to run over the bridge at reduced speed, but the delays are expected to last until at least Friday and possibly longer.